Hi everyone, welcome to Media Nama. In this quarter's round of earnings, telecom companies Bharti Airtel and Reliance Jio spoke about the expansion of their 5G network, but at the same time, they said that they hadn't monetized their 5G services and thus were, they were not bringing in any additional revenue from 5G. While Airtel did mention that it doesn't believe in higher tariffs for 5G networks, the fact that it talked about monetizing 5G services tells us that the company does plan on bringing in additional revenue one way or the other. But what one has to consider here is, how will 5G be monetized? Let's say companies have different rates between their 4G and 5G networks. Would customers even want to make the switch to 5G? Moving to a 5G network offers you the benefit of getting higher internet speeds. But uh, does the average user need such high speeds on their mobile connection? So Airtel in their earnings call pointed out that while users may get 400 to 500 Mbps of speeds, on the 5G network to perform functions like using a messaging service or watching a video, they wouldn't need more than 4 to 7 Mbps. So for the average user, the difference between 4G and 5G wouldn't be that substantial because they wouldn't even notice it. Another thing to consider is while uh, users may get that speed, companies cannot promise you that, that high speed. Another thing to consider is that while customers may get those speeds, those high speeds that Airtel talked about, uh, it is not necessary that um, the speeds offered would always be the same. So they can't promise you a constant speed. Internet speeds on mobile connections depends on a range of factors. One of them being interference. So if you're in a house with thick walls, chances are you wouldn't get the best connection. Similarly, um, if you're in a region with a lot of users of the same network, so like let's say you're on, on the geo network and um, there's a lot of geo network users around you, chances are your internet will be slower. So with all that in mind, would anybody want to spend more money on 5G? That's uh, one thing that is unclear. Now companies are spending a lot of money on their 5G rollouts. So Jio highlighted that its capital expenditure was roughly 39,000 crore and Airtel highlighted that its uh, capital expenditure was close to 7,800 crore with uh, such expenditures and uh, both of them primarily using this money for 5G rollouts. Uh, it does tell us that both the companies have financial interest vested in you know, people using 5G networks. In conditions like this, it's important that the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India makes sure that telco make sure that telecom companies don't end up underselling their 4G networks just so that people move on to 5G. To learn more about this topic, you can read the detailed reportage of uh, Bharti Airtel, Reliance Geo, and Vodafone Ideas earnings on our website. Thank you.